Hey friends, welcome back to the garage. I'm excited today because in the mail I got my new Coverlay dash cover. I messed around with the vinyl stuff. You can watch that video, it's really frustrating. Um, but this is already made to fit exactly the shape of my dash. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, the first instruction is to test fit it. I already did that. It looks really good without even being glued in. So now it's just time to prep the dash and put it in. Now the instructions say to use ammonia-based cleaner. I had two different window cleaners. Both of them are ammonia-free. So just a few minutes ago, I ran to my local grocery store and I bought some cheapest I could find ammonia-based glass cleaner. I've actually already cleaned the dash a couple of times with alcohol, so it's probably pretty clean. It doesn't have many oils, but I spent about $370, including shipping, to get this here, so I don't want to mess up the install by not spending an extra few bucks for the right recommended cleaner. So I'm going to uh, jump inside the car and clean the dash once again with ammonia-based cleaner, and then we will take this and put it in the car, and I've already seen it, it looks really, really good. So. Uh, Stay with me as we jump inside the car. I pulled the radio out. It's been in and out a couple of times, actually. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of my radio project at the same time I'm doing this, but I think it will be easier to uh, to put this in, or at least to get it in. Uh, now, these cracks are all new on the dash. They weren't there before, and I think that's because of all the alcohol I used to strip the dash the first time, um, but certainly it's not improving. It's getting worse. So, um, I am excited to get this thing covered up. Since I had to buy a huge container of fake Windex, we might as well apply it liberally. And uh, I'm using what I hope is a lint-free cloth. Might as well wipe the windshield off while I'm in here. I'll let this dry for a minute and then I will show you a before picture because I think that's important to see what we've actually done here. I think most of the uh, window cleaner has dried so this would be the before picture. Now I've got the dash cover upside down on my table. One of the first instructions after you clean the dash is it says to prepare the silicone you should put it in some warm water to make it easier to work. One thing they definitely stress in the instructions is that you're only supposed to silicone around the openings and around the edges. So uh, they basically don't smear the entire thing with silicone. That's not the idea. It's just to create a bead around all of these edges. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm working by myself. It might be nicer to have a second person. I was able to get it in and out of the car by myself to test fit it. So. I think I'll be okay. The driver's side is definitely the trickier side. You have to kind of get this to go behind the dash. But other than that, it pretty much lays in place. Well, my silicone has been warming for a couple of minutes. Um, didn't really say how warm the water should be. Uh, this water was in a kettle, so it's actually quite warm. So I just pierced it with a tip, and now it's time to start uh, applying the silicone. We'll see how this goes. It's my first time with this. too liberal at the top before this sets up let's try to get it in the car without too much mess okay I switched over to the GoPro because 
I didn't want to take time to set up the other camera while this stuff was wet. And again, the goal is to not put silicone on the upholstery or the steering wheel or anything else that it doesn't belong on, which hopefully isn't as tricky as I think it might be. It's this spot under the steering wheel that's really the, the tricky spot. Once you get that in, everything else kind of fits together. Okay, looks like we're mostly there now. It's just time to start taking it and see. What I'm going to do is just start taping off pieces so that I have good adhesion. So I'm going to come around all these radio details that I want to fit nice and tight and just tape them off with painter's tape because it should come loose pretty good. couple pieces of silicone that ran away but we'll get those out of the way before they get too crazy we'll see what I can do to fix that just cut my seat not cool not cool at all but they recommended cardboard wedges which I think is a great idea it seems to be holding the uh, the new dash cover against the existing dash and then I'll have to do something to weight this down okay here's more shims that I didn't cut in front of the seat so I hopefully won't break the car anymore let's see if we can weight this down with something so it gets a little bit of adhesion around the edges I don't know that I recommend putting bricks on your new dash, but that's what I had that was a little bit heavy. So that's what I'm going to use. Try not to scratch the glass or the new dash. I got a bead on there, but I did not have a lot of extra silicone for sure. I'm trying to get the seam kind of evened up. I don't think that's going to go anywhere because of the angle of this, but we'll tape it off. I do see a little space on the side of the car, so if I had some weight on that, it would be nice. Maybe. Here's an idea. We'll try. Well, oh, that's putting some pressure on there, so maybe that's useful. Definitely didn't build my beam as well there. Okay. Unless I see something else, I think I'm going to leave it this way to dry, and uh, I'll come back to it in a few hours and take the tape off. The car's been sitting here since 6 o'clock last night, so over 12 hours, probably about 14 hours, and all I have to do is take the bricks and cardboard out and it should be finished so let's do that that's all the bricks But as I pull this tape off, you can start to see what looks like a new dash. And just to remind you where we started, this is the dash before the cover lay and finally this is what it looks like after the cover lay cover has been installed. That is it for the dash cover. Um, I did this by myself, 
It's a little bit pricey at $375 about delivered, but it makes a huge difference in how the interior of the car looks. The seams aren't perfect. There are a couple things that, um, that I wish fit tighter, mainly between the speaker and the A-pillar there is a little gap. Um, and I think maybe later I'll get some black RTV and I will try to stick that down and press that corner. When you're putting the whole dash down, there's so many places you're trying to keep weighted that it's impossible to get to every little corner, I think. Um, but overall, it looks a thousand times better than it did before. You can also see how I failed to put vinyl on the dash. That's another video I've already made. I'll leave a link to that also. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, see you on the next video.